you are not interested in the Creator's creation. So magnificent. You are enamored by petty things, so you have to suffer. If you don't suffer, how? What is the value of enlightenment? <laughs> you have to suffer. If ignorance doesn't bring suffering to you, why would you seek enlightenment? What, what would be the value? Somebody said ignorance is bliss. They've always been selling ignorance, of course. See, I told you the power of marketing in the morning. <laughs> People have been telling you ignorance is bliss. You know, during the sixties, People popped LSD and they began to think they're superhuman. And they jumped off tall buildings because they believed they're going to fly. And they did fly for some time. <laughs> you know when the Wright brothers flew, they were airborne only for twenty-four seconds and that was a great feat. When I, you know, when I was seventeen years of age, I built my own hang glider and I tried to fly down the hill because it was downhill. I flew, I believe it looked like a long time but I believe I could have also done something twenty seconds. But then when you realize it is not built to fly, then the bliss is over. <laughs> I came down with two cracked ankles. But these people who jumped off buildings, they were blissful in their ignorance, till you hit the ground of course. So if ignorance does not bring suffering to you, I would be disappointed with life. I would be very disappointed. Then all my striving and who I am, doesn't mean anything, it's of no significance, it's of no consequence. No, if you're in ignorance you must suffer. This is not my wish, this is the way of life, whether you like it or you don't like it, that's the way it happens.